Hi everyone, my name is Richard N. Uh, you're welcome to Fast Getting to Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about uh, Pipe Drive. Pipe Drive is one uh, tool you'd want to get used to if you are streamlining your business, uh, maybe and you wish to really, really uh, manage things at a scale, because it is one tool that allows you to, to track your sales pipeline, to optimize your leads, and then to manage deals with AI Automate, and then it will allow you to automate your sales process and help you to focus solely on selling. That is one of the benefits of deploying Pipedrive. And when you talk about what Pipedrive actually allows you to do, you can see that it says it's a sales pipeline CRM designed to help small businesses uh, manage leads, track sales activities, and then close more deals. So what this does is that it helps you to do all these things while you focus solely on the main purpose, which is making more sales. So today we're going to explore this up to see how it actually works. And one step to that is to create an account. So I'm going to click on try it for free. Okay. I'll click on try it for free now. Then the next thing is I want to sign up with my Google account. So I'll come down to the bottom here and I'll say, uh continue with google okay so here i'm going to click this but i'm going to click that. and then when it comes up i need to select which account i wish to use and that is this one i'm going to use this account to do what i want to do so now you can see i'm already on my way getting into pipe drive already okay so now this is pipe drive so it's going to ask me to continue uh, and I'm going to say yes. And the next thing it's going to do is because at this point it's trying to get me to sign up. So it's going to ask me a little bit about myself and taking a lot of things, maybe like my, you know, my position. And I'm going to say I own the business. So you can see v VP CEO here. And have you used CRM before? I'm going to say uh, yes. Uh, I'm going to say this one then it's going to ask me my phone number i don't want to put that in so i'm going to click on these two boxes here and i'm going to say next oh i think the phone number stuff is important now so i'm going to select my country my country is nigeria and i'm going to just try to get to that if i can't get to that i can just put it out this order and just put anything here and go away okay now i can click on next and then it's asking me for my company name. I'm going to write, I'm going to type uh, Prime Structors Limited. And then say, how big is my company? Of course, it could be any number from 11 to 59. And then my industry, I could say construction. Okay, now it says, how many people in your company will use this one? I'm going to say six to 10. And then, then the next thing is, what would you like to focus on? I'm going to just check every box here. You can choose to do what works for you okay so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to click on create accounts okay so at this point now uh pipe drive is going to allow me to you know it's going to build my interface for me uh, mine is just to sit back and relax and watch them do their stuff so now you can see that we are done we are now done here uh the next thing is it bringing me here where i'm going to see a lot of things here and set up and all of that but I'm not really interested in all of this. I just want to click on continue and click on continue with this and then complete setup. And then now we are back into our workspace. So I'll click on continue setup and I will just let it continue. It's stuff. I just want to go back and do my stuff. So this is my pipe drive uh, uh, environment now. This is our setup page. So I think we are already done with this part. We need to switch to the next one, which is our leads. Okay, remember that one of the primary aims of using Pipedrive is to manage your leads as a business owner. So you can see that we have already uh, the spot for lead inbox here. We already have our live chats. We have our chat bots. We have our web form. We have our I mean prospector. And then our web visitors and all of that. So this is what you know, the interesting features that actually Pipedrive has that makes it unique in its own way. So Pipedrive allows you to actually manage uh, the, you know, our chat from our leads, right? So when people come to our website and then they're trying to chat with us, we can see all those things here. And this is our live chat now. You can actually manage your live chat, 
and then be able to like activate your lead booster and then when you do that now you, you are you're going to be able to easily generate leads from your website and then we have our chatbots the chatbot is actually something that you can actually uh you know create, i mean create uh, you know modify to suit your business need and then embed onto your website and then we have our web forms the web forms actually help us to you know to generate uh maybe opinion and leads from our customers and all of that and then we have the prospector which allows us to actually you know work with the lead booster and then find people for our business then we have you know we have add-ons like the web visitors and all of that which is the part of it that allows you to connect the two to your website and then be able to see what your audience on the website are like their interests and how they navigate your website and their things that they are spending more time on then we we'll come to the deals part the deals part actually allows us to be able to like manage the different uh, deals that we might have in our pipe drive you can see that we have these are the different uh, columns this one is a qualified lead will be here then this is when the contact has been made with this person when this uh, person has actually mentioned their needs and then uh, the person that is making the code calling or maybe prospecting this people have actually known what the person needs what the potential customer needs and then that thing that this person needs what is the cost estimate that it, you know or maybe what is the cost that will be required to provide that thing that's what we have here and then now that you've known the cost have you sent them a proposal you can see that here and then you can now start negotiating on on it right so this is just what this here is all about you can even make more deals by clicking on this place here you can click on deals here and then you can now be able to like actually um, add a little bit about the customer like the cost i mean like the contact name where they're working their title and then how much is this deal worth and then what currency is it on so if you say the person's name is michael Michael, let's call him Michael Anton. Okay, Michael Anton. You then you don't need to like put where he's working. You can say okay, Anton, Anton PLC, right? And then what is the value of the deal? You can say okay, the value is maybe five thousand. And then you need to select the country here. If it is in Naira, if you're in Nigeria like myself, but then if the deal actually is in the USD or is in the United States dollar, you need to come down here to select the USD. And then continue so this is where you now need to specify the label or the stage where the where this pipeline is you select by pipeline stage the first one here is qualify second one here is contact me so as you progress with this lead now you keep checking this uh progress bar here to complete what you think uh the person is then here is your labels which could be maybe quote or code or whatever then you can naturally add when you you are expected to close this deal okay then who, who in your team has this uh, contact you need to specify the person here and then how did you get this contact now this is what you do on this channel part here because we have source channel here we have things like prospector lead suggestions web forms chatbot live chats web visitors campaigns market space and then messaging inbox so these are the various channels that you can actually do what you can actually get these people from and then this part is where you need to enter the person's phone number here so if the person has a phone number you can enter that here if the person has an email address can actually enter that here. of course you know that these two phone number and email are very important in terms of contacting this person and maybe sending updates about the deal that you guys are having so that is what this one here means so that is uh the deal part of um uh, pipe drive so every every, every deal you're going to have now will be shown in this part here so if for adventure you wanted to create a deal and let's say you call him uh, Michael let's say his name is Michael Anton okay and then probably he's with maybe Anton Anton biomedics okay then we say okay our deal is 5,000 Naira and then you can see that here now if we have actually made contact with the person this person will be here if I've done this, you'll be here and all of that. So this is the part where you now need to enter the person's phone number. Okay, so, okay, maybe just put a random number there. Okay, so I can just say one one two blah blah blah. So that's only even a valid number. So then the person's email can also be here. Just put uh, email, email, and you are good. Okay. So then the next is to specify when you're going to actually complete this. Uh, this this uh, deal you can see maybe you're closing it in on the 17th of april 
and then the owner need to specify the owner here and then how did you get this so, so maybe perhaps this person got to know about your product through web visit i mean through 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 web form or maybe through live chat right so you can click on live chat to, to confirm that and then you can even select also the the this the, the source channel id if you have any source channel, maybe if you if you assigned any special id to your live chat you can actually enter that here so next is to say what is to click on save when you click on save now because i selected this and this person has to be has to be on this needs defined here because the person actually specified their need okay so if the lead stage actually showed that the person you know if they actually show that okay maybe they're actually giving the person an estimate you do what you move him here so if you have actually made him a proposal you can take that here and they can actually negotiate with him to bring it up here right so those are kind of stuff um like that so this is for the people that are qualified now so i think this thing goes this way it goes to this side from here down to this side here is when you negotiated about the product here is where you maybe you made, made a proposal then here is where you actually gave a cost estimate of what it will cost and then blah 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 and so on and so forth so those kind of stuff is what you do here then here is where we have our projects of course your projects are more like the things that are pulling you cash right maybe you have a contract with a, i mean with another company to do one or two you can come here to actually specify those here and then we have our campaigns okay so campaigns when we did a uh, uh, um, hubspot we did email campaign we did um we did uh, uh what again uh we did um workflow automation and so on and so forth when we came to apollo we also sent sequence which is also a part of campaign the way we even did lemlist recently we also did campaign there as well so this one is just what it is this one is just like your outreach that you're going to send to these people okay that your outreach that you're going to send to them to create an awareness for what you are selling or what you're marketing you can create that from this campaign tab here and then from your campaign tab now when people start responding to you, you're going to be seeing it on your inbox on your draft and all these things here you are going to use your draft to actually save your messages and then the messages that you sent out are going to be in your outbox and then the ones that you send will be on your sent box this one are the ones that have been confirmed that have been sent right then you can even archive messages and all of that then this is your calendar that shows your activities for the day for the week and so on and so forth you can see here we have this one tells us what we've done the subjects the deal that we made and then how i mean how how what is the priority for that particular uh, deal then who was the contact person for that deal and then so on and so Fourth, and then here we have our contacts yes the contact are actually people that we are actually working with you can see this is anton anton michael this is the organization where he works and all of that so as people come in through your web form they'll be coming here as contacts just as it does on hotspot and the rest of them so this is just the various ways through which uh pipe drive actually presents something uh, unique i have another video where i talked about how to embed all this live chat and all of that on the website you can actually see that one uh you know in the next uh video so now we have our insights here of course you know that your insight is more like your forecast something that tells you how you've been performing and all of that that is what uh we mean here okay so that is what it is here then we have our product this is where you can actually manage your product you can get to create maybe for instance if you are if you're into building material you can actually come here to say okay perhaps maybe perhaps you're selling things like maybe uh maybe building materials so you can sell roofing sheets roofing uh sheets and then product code can be whatever anything you like and put it here then category could be uh roofing roofing and then that can be our category now then units you can say okay units can be anything you can call it one and then billing frequency of course it should be a one-time billing then unit price should be let, let us say maybe unit price should be two thousand okay of course going to be in naira so you don't need to touch this part and then how much vat is it your need so our vat in nigeria is 7.5 and then you can just do what you can just create okay so now you now have a product called what roofing sheets you can even still add one more and say okay you are get okay, we have cement say maybe down go to uh cement okay product code can be anything just put something there then category of course this one is uh maybe this one is uh construction right yeah 
stuff like that i know that will not really be the right word and then the units you can see what the unit means you say measurements standard blah blah you can see 50 kilo right 50 uh, kg okay so then we now have unit price and of course it's going to be a one-time billing and the unit price is what let us say 10,200 uh, or 300 then tax is about 7.5 percent and next is to what is to save so you can see now we now have two we now have two 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 products here so this is how you can actually build your product uh i mean a database to make it so big so if you have like 10 items that is just how you can keep adding them until you populate the entire place here then the next thing i want to talk about is the market space market space allow you to actually bring or create a kind of bridge between uh between the the the, the this uh, pipe drive and things that it cannot really do so for instance Pipe drive can actually do meetings, but if if you have Google Meet here, you can actually integrate Google Meet and then be able to have meetings within your pipe drive. So that is what the marketplace here gives us. It gives us access to other apps that can be used to achieve other things within the pipe drive environment. You know, just like without going elsewhere, you can see that we have DocuSign, we have Asana, Trello, Zendesk, Money.com, Mailchimp, Dealbot, and so on and so forth. You can even integrate Slack here as well. So that is just what this marketplace helps us to do. Then you can see that we even have automations here. Okay, automations actually, you know, are things like maybe how email should be sent to people and all of that. So, you know, we can even create automatic uh, assignments, pipe drive AI, automatic phone calls. You can create product on the automatic, and then smart contact with data. You can even create document and so on and so forth. You can even see automate with what with other apps within the the the, the pipe drive uh, environment. And then to be able to do automation, you can see that we have a lot of different uh, automation here. We have some that are for email. So if you come here now, you can say okay. If you want to inf uh, maybe engage with hot deals, you can use this one here. If you want to engage with unresponsive deals, you can come here. If you want to follow up in a new deal, you want to you want to use this one here. Then you talk about campaign. So we also have automated emails for campaign. You can say send a campaign to lost deal. Say send a campaign to one deal. So this one can actually confirm that okay, the deal was actually one and so on and so. For then even for the activity, you can see that we have. Lot of automation here automated messages here for those kind of stuff then we have uh, deals you can say add products to existing deals you can even say okay leads now okay then we have our slack our team and so on and so forth so you can see that uh pipe drive actually is a very very interesting uh tool for you if you are trying to actually uh make more sales or focus more on you know selling and so on and so uh, forth so this is just how you can use pipe drive in another video i'm going to go deep into managing your leads generating leads creating an email campaign and so on and so forth and it's going to be quite interesting so everything about here everything about uh, this uh, pipe drive here is quite interesting if you just need to pay some attention and follow it one step at a time so i think i'm going to see you in the next video when we start working with this properly so Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.